So I decided to treat myself to a couple of these hands-free probes. These came from PCB, or PC Byte, I think that's how you pronounce that. Not a sponsor of the channel, which is the shame, because these were quite expensive. But, talking of sponsors of the channel, PCB Way is a sponsor of the channel. And we're looking again at one of their PCBs. So one of the things that I wanted to look at is the microphone on this board and how it works. So I was slightly intrigued when I looked at some code. So what is it that got me confused with the code? Well, here's the setup for the I2S PDM device. And I'm using the new API for doing this on the ESP32. So we have our channel config and we set that up. And then we have the actual configuration, which has the GPI opens. Now, if you look at this, we have the clock pin and we have the data pin. What we don't have is the LR pin. Now, if we look at the actual schematic, there is a clock, there's a MIC LR, and there's a data. And if we look at the data sheet, these are definitely the pins. There is an LR channel pin. Now, if we go back to a very old video, back in the day when I was looking at microphones and audio, these are the signals for a PCM microphone. So we have the serial clock, you have the word select or the LR clock. This goes high and low. If it's high, then you want the left or the right channel. So the LR clock or the WS clock selects which channel you're getting. And this lets you connect two microphones to the same I squared S line. So this goes through and you get the serial data coming from the left and right channel. But there's no LR clock on this PDM setup. So how on earth does that work? And we can confirm that if we go to the actual definition of this, then you can see here that the RX GPIO config has a clock and it has some data in pins. There is no LR clock. So you can see my confusion here. I put a comment in saying, what on earth's going on? Where is the LR clock pin? Is it no longer relevant? Do we tie it high or low? How do you put two microphones onto the same I squared S device? We want stereo microphones. How does that work? So I put something on the forums and then someone sent me straight back to the data sheet. And if we scroll up, it all becomes very clear. So you can see here the IO timing diagram. We have our clock and then we have the value for data for the selection pin. So if you tie the LR selection pin to VDD, then the data is valid on the downward transition of the clock, and then it's high Z. If you connect the selection to ground, then the data is valid on the up transition of the clock, and it's high Z otherwise. So that's how you connect two PDO microphones to the same I squared S peripheral. You tie the selection pin high for one and low for the other. So let's go to the oscilloscope and use our new probes to actually test this. So I've got the board set up so that we can change the polarity of the LR pin using the boot button. So currently we've got a blue LED and that means the LR pin is held low. So if we look at the oscilloscope here, we'll just run that, then what you can see is when the clock is high, actually let's do a single capture. What you can see is when the clock is high, the value starts to be pulled down. So what I've done is I've connected the data pin to a pin on the ESP32 with a pull down resistor. So when the, um, when the microphone data goes high impedance, it starts to pull the value down. You can see on the positive edge of the clock, it starts to get pulled down. So our data is valid when the clock is low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the boot button. Now the LEDs turned green. That means the LR pin is high. So if we start the oscilloscope running again, I'll do another single capture. And now you can see that our value starts to be pulled down when the clock is low. So that matches up with the data sheet. Obviously, if you had two microphones, one with the LR pin held high and one with the LR pin held low, they'd basically interleave the values and it would work nicely. So you'd have stereo microphones on one I squared S device. So very different from the PCM microphones, but um, pretty interesting. So it's all very interesting, but is it really important? Well, one of the big learnings is we don't actually need to connect this LR pin up to a GPIO pin. So currently I have my MIC LR connected up to this GPIO here. Now I could have got away with not connecting it at all. I could have just tied it low or high, depending on which side I wanted it to be on left or right. So I could have saved a pin. 
I'll do that next time.